All right, guys, let's talk about Liverpool. I know it's raining right about now, it's a little gloomy. But let's talk about Liverpool and how they shape up going into the new 2023-24 season. Last year wasn't the best season for Liverpool at all, you know what I'm saying? Didn't even make the top four. And that's a disappointment for Liverpool fans, I know. At one time, it seemed as if Liverpool weren't going to make it. And then it seemed as if they were going to make it. And then things just fell apart. So, of course, we know Liverpool need reinforcement in the midfield. And I've been talking about that for a while. They needed creativity. The players who were there that were brought in for that exact purpose weren't doing their job and uh, Naby Keita comes to mind you know what I'm saying Klopp didn't trust Fabio Carvalho enough and I think he should have you know what I mean that's why you brought him in he helped Fulham got promoted the previous season so I don't know why Carvalho wasn't given enough time on the field in terms of reinforcements let's talk about first of all let's talk about the outgoings you know what I mean and let's go back to the previous season where I think the departure of Sadio Mane, El Boogie, <laughs> that's the El Boogie, the Boogie Man. He definitely, you know, um, hurt Liverpool with him going to Bayern Munich, and uh, maybe the, the the departure was inevitable, seeing that he went to Saudi Arabia and all. But yeah, Sadio Mane was was a reliable guy, man. You know what I'm saying? The assists, the goals just the fitness levels and just what he added to the team. I don't think, you know, the players who were brought in had that. You see what I mean? Guys like Luis Diaz, Darwin Nunez, these guys either they didn't stay fit or they weren't consistent enough. Imagine Sadio Mane having the chances that Luis Diaz had. Oh man, he would have he would have buried most of those. But you didn't have that. And you know, his chemistry with Salah, Firmino, that was lacking. Roberto Firmino, let, let's move forward. This season, well, the summer break. Firmino out. Fabinho out. I thought Fabinho was the best defensive midfielder in the world. That's what you guys said. He's gone. Why did you sell him? Because he fell off hard. I haven't seen anybody fell off as hard as Fabinho. He fell off hard. You know what I'm saying? He did have a you know a decent spell last season, but all in all, he's been terrible. So he's went to he's gone to Saudi Arabia for 46 million euros. That's a steal for a player who's past his best, in my opinion. And I guess that's what Saudi Arabia is doing. Taking players who's past their best, right? Roberto Firmino, he's gone. Fabio Cavallo, he's gone on alone to Leipzig. Jordan Henderson, the captain. And maybe this one is another steal by Liverpool in terms of getting 14 million euros for him. Because I think Henderson was past his best. He was a loyal servant to the club. He did well. And I think it was definitely time to move on. James Milner moved on as well. He's gone to Brighton. Oh man, wasn't even in my lane there. And that person just kept coming down on me. I was like, wow, okay. So yeah, James Miller's gone to Brighton. Naby Keita, he's gone to Werder Bremen. Well, yeah. I think Liverpool held on to James Milner a little bit too long. And I think they held on to Naby Keita a little bit too long too, where he was brought in for big money from Leipzig, and he was a total flop. Always injured, you know what I'm saying? Always injured, and whenever he developed a little momentum, bam, injured again. But what he promised at Leipzig was never fulfilled at Liverpool. And that's the, that's, that's the truth, you know what I'm saying? Am I missing anyone else? I don't think I'm missing anyone else though. Let me just double check really quick to make sure I'm not missing anyone else because there's been a clear out at Liverpool of some sorts. You know what I mean? Okay. Alex Oxlade Chamberlain. I don't think he has a new club yet, but he's gone. Another decent player. I can remember that goal. He smashed in against Man City. I think that was in 2018, if I'm not mistaken. 
ah, from distance. I could never forget that, man. Maybe I'm getting the time wrong, but you guys know what I'm talking about. When you beat us up at Anfield. I think Fabinho scored a really good goal in that game as well. And Salah, if I'm not mistaken. So, Oxley chamberlain he's gone. Never fit. You know what I'm saying? And that's his downfall. Never, ever fit. So, that's a lot of players, man. Fabinho, Jordan Henderson, Firmino, Naby Keita, James Milner, Alex Oxley chamberlain guys like Reese Williams, um, Calvin Ramsey, who else? Think Fabio Cavallo, Sepp Van Dem. A lot of players gone. Either out on loan or permanently gone. What has Liverpool done to replace these players? You see what I mean? Or to bring in reinforcement for the position that's needed? What, ha what, what have they done? FSG. Alexis McAllister, World Cup winner with Argentina. I think that's a great sign. And I think he will add that chemistry that Liverpool, well, but that creativity that Liverpool need and have needed, have, they needed that in the midfield. They, that's one thing they lacked in my opinion. A lot of, a lot of people thought that Thiago was going to come in and be that deep line creative midfielder. Thiago, I'm not even going to start up the Thiago thing again, but he's been garbage in my opinion. Garbage. Basura. You see what I mean? And I hold no reservations about that. I don't want to have any arguments with anybody about that because it's been proven. He's garbage. Always injured. Whenever he's, he plays, he has some goodish games, but he's not effective. He doesn't contribute to goals, and he doesn't really have a lot of assists. Yeah, you could argue that he's involved in a build-up, and he make, he's stylish. That's all he does. He's stylish. He looks good. He's a freaking ornament. That's all he is. There for decoration. You feel me? That's what he... Uh, let me not get started. <laughs> let me not get started with the Thiago thing again. You know? But Alexis McAllister, I think, would add a lot to Liverpool's midfield. He's an attacking threat. Scores a lot of goals. You know what I mean? Look at what he did for Argentina. Look at what he did for Brighton over the years. And uh, Liverpool brought him in. You know what I'm saying? In terms of the, the FIFA Alexis McAllister. Let me just um, pull that up. Alexis McAllister. 42 million euros. Right? That's not bad. That's not bad for a player of his caliber. But Liverpool paid 70 million euros to RB Leipzig for Dominic Soboslai. And these are two... Well, Alexis McAllister could be seen as a box-to-box -box type midfielder. He will give you something defensively as well as attacking. But Shubasly is all out attack. You see what I mean? He'll give you something on the wings, give you something in the in the in the camp position. But um 70 million? Oh, that, that's it. I think, right? I like Shubasly. During his days at Salzburg, he was really good. And maybe early on in Leipzig, he got an injury. But, oh man, I think Liverpool overpaid for him. He's only 22 years old, so has a lot of potential there. But the fee is hefty. It's very, very hefty for the Hungarian man. Very, very hefty. But I haven't seen him in preseason. Haven't been watching any preseason games. And it's left to be seen, you know what I mean? But he's a good player. I'm not going to say he's not a good player. He's a good player. Alexis McAllister, only 24 years old as well. He's a great signing. I would have taken him at Manchester City to replace Ilkay Gundogan. I think he is a perfect Ilkay Gundogan replacement. And maybe we drop the ball when it comes to that and allow Liverpool to snatch him up for, for decent money as well. So only two signings brought in. Four midfielders lost. Four, only two brought in. A Liverpool gonna bring in someone else. I, I've been seeing them linked to Romeo Lavia, former Man City youngster, and maybe others. But I think Lavia has the strongest links. I think you know he could he could add something. 
Maybe just get rid of Thiago and bring in Lavia. I think he'll add more to the team. Seriously. He's looked good for Southampton, even though they got relegated. But, in terms of what Liverpool have already in the arsenal, Mo Salah, Darwin Nunez, you got the likes of Luis Diaz. These guys have to stay fit and they got to fire. They got to fire. Because I think Darwin Nunez misfired big time last season. Big time. You know what I'm saying? Cody Gakpo, he came in, he looked good. He's um, gelled with the team. Harvey Elliott. Diego Jota. Liverpool got a lot in their arsenal. Liverpool got a lot. When I say they got a lot, they got a lot. You know what I'm saying? Liverpool got a lot. Got a lot to work with. The team now has to gel and they have to put all their guns together and fight. It's not going to be easy. We know what Man City's been doing. Trouble last season, previous season. Beat Liverpool barely. Man United bolstered. We're not worried about Chelsea too much. You know what I'm saying? We're not. We're not. We're not. We're not even worried about Spurs. But Arsenal, this is a team you got to worry about. Arsenal. I think it's going to be tough for Liverpool this season in terms of um, competing for the Premier League. But getting into the top four will definitely be key. And that should be... Look, the goal is to win the title. But it's going to be tough seeing that they're in the Europa League playing Thursday night football. They need to bring in more reinforcements to bolster the squad so that you could have players in the Europa League and you could have a strong team as well on the weekend. It's going to be rough. It is going to be rough. Curtis Jones, the likes of Trent Alexander-Arnold, I think Stefan Bicetic could add a lot to that midfield so maybe they don't need to bring in too many players but one more you see what i mean because those last two players that i named could definitely step up to the mantle and and add something to to the to the team andy robertson he fell off a bit last season so he's gonna need to get back to the, to his best ibrahim akonate virgil van dyck joe gomez joe matic I think Liverpool needs to sign another um, central defender. I think another central defender could help get rid of Nat Phillips because you have him there, you're not really using him. Another central defender could be handy for the Reds, in my opinion. That, that's just my quick assessment for Jurgen Klopp's team. I think they got their work cut out for them this season. Keeping players fit would be key. You got to keep the players fit. I think a fit Liverpool is a very, very dangerous Liverpool. We know this. This might sound very, very cliche, but a fit Liverpool is a dangerous, and I mean a dangerous Liverpool. I kind of lost my train of thought <laughs> along the video, but you guys get my point. How will Liverpool fare this season? Would they win the title? Guys, I I'm going to say no. Europa League, very, very realistic if they somehow avoid a Sevilla. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because we know Sevilla is always in the mix. Are they, I don't even, listen, are they even in the Europa League this season? What did they do last season? They won it. So they're in the Champions League. So most likely they'll get bumped down into the Europa League. We, we know that's their competition. So pretty much it man guys let me know your thoughts let me know how you feel as i said you know allison's still in goal adrian's still around i think another defender would be good a defensive midfielder as well in um romeo lavia uh, or equivalent someone to replace fabinho would be key because i don't think tiago is the man you see what I mean? I don't think Thiago is the man to get the job done at all. Don't think so. That's just my opinion. But I don't think so. 
I really don't think so. I'll, I'll talk about this again. I want to talk to a Liverpool fan. But I think, you know, Liverpool, got, got they got a lot of work to do. Got a lot of work to do in terms of competing and winning the Premier League this season. Guys, that's my quick thoughts. It's raining a lot. <laughs> Gotta stay focused on the road. Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe to the channel. Channel of a new. I'm back. Your boy is back. Your boy is back with the fire, of course. Like the video if you haven't yet done. So, guys, smash up the thumbs up button, man. You know, let's get this video to 100 likes. But I do think we might see an improvement from Liverpool last from last season in terms of their position. And, um, you know, they should do well in the domestic cups and in the Europa League. I think Liverpool will be part of the conversation this season. Virgil van Dijk, the new captain, he needs to be better. He needs to come better, of course. But guys, I'll talk to you soon.